Hello my loving kids. Welcome back to another fun learning session. Today we are going to discuss a very important and informative topic. The concept is day and night. But when is day time and when is night time? When we see the sun shining in the sky that is daytime and when we see the moon and lots of stars in the sky that is night time so children we see the sun in the sky during day and we can see the moon and stars in the sky at night now look outside and tell me what do you see in the sky right now sun or moon and stars as right now i can see the sun clouds bird in the sky so that means this is day time so day and night are parts of the day that are determined by light and dark this is the sun we see the sun in the sky during day in the day time we are awake we see different things around us because of the sun's light yes children do you know sun gives us heat and light all living things need sunlight to live the sun is a big ball of fire and the sun is also a star yes the sun is also a star every morning the sun rises in the east which means the sunrise begins a new day at noon the sun shines brightly and is right overhead in the evening the sun sets in the west when the sun sets it is night so children what do you do during the day we do different activities during day such as we wake up early in the morning then we brush our teeth take bath have breakfast and go to the school play games and lots of fun that is why i like day time more but at night it is dark because the sun doesn't shine in the sky we cannot see the sun at night we can see the moon and lots of twinkle twinkle little stars in the sky at night so children what do you do during the night after walking all day we returned home at night then take rest read book watch tv have dinner and go to sleep children do you want to know how day and night are formed there is an interesting fact so let's explain look at the picture listen and observe very carefully this is the earth the earth is a planet on which we live the earth continuously spins on its axis axis is an imaginary line the earth takes 24 hours to spin on its axis once we think sun moves around the earth but no the fact is the earth moves around the sun the sun doesn't move got it i repeat the earth moves 
around the sun it rotates on its axis that is why we have day and night the side of the earth face comes in front of the sun and receive the sun's light or the part where the sunlight falls that is day and the opposite side of the earth face or you can say the other portion of the earth face away from the sun that is night so the day and night occurs due to the earth rotation wow it's an amazing we have learned so many interesting things about the sun the earth and the formation of day and night now children look here what is this this is a globe means earth this is the earth right now we have learned the earth continuously spins on its axis the earth takes 24 hours to spin on its axis once so the day and night occurs due to the earth rotation now children i am going to tell one more interesting thing so listen and observe very carefully look here this is india and this is usa india and usa are on the opposite side of the globe that is why when there is day in india it is night in usa and when there is day in usa it is night in india so children now you came to know that the day and night are formed by the rotation of the earth on its axis so children today we have learned so many things about the day and night the sun and the earth hope the day and night concept is clear to everyone now it's time to check how much you have learned from this topic are you all ready so let's begin number 1 when do you see the sun during the day time next when do you see the moon and stars yes well done at night now next what do you see in the sky during the day very good great job the sun and clouds now moving on to the fun activity to do this activity here i have taken a lamp and a globe here i want to mention one thing if you are not having a globe then you can use a ball so let's begin here lamp means sun let's rotate the earth on its axis children observe very carefully where the light is falling means the half part of the earth receive the sun's light that is day and the other portion means the opposite portion of the earth away from the sun that is dark so it is night this is day and this is night wow it was an amazing experiment wasn't it you must try it at home hope you all enjoyed today's class so see you in the next class till then take care bye bye